Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Project. In this module, I want to have a quick look at the forms that you get in Project. So here's a small project plan and the forms that you get are either on this view bar, if you've activated the view bar, and if I just right click, that's what you do to activate the view bar. You can see all the other things that's in there, task form and other forms in there. And if I scroll down this list to get to the bottom, use this little arrow there's a task form there that's what I want to have a look at so I'm going to click on task form and then you've got this form that comes on there with you've got so it's on end of phase previous all these other tasks that you can go through and then you've got some very limited information there and this is a table of information if there's any resources allocated to any of these which there isn't you would see them in there so if I just go and create a resource list and add one, so I'll just add, I've got myself there, I'll add Bob and Bill. And let's put those, let's put everybody at £10, £20 over time. Pull that one down. And if I go back to the task form, you've got the task form. Now what you'll see is that resource list now appears in here in this form so you can just allocate people through this drop down. So I'll just put everybody on this one. Of course you can still go and do it the normal way. Um, I normally use the Gantt chart view and resource assign resources so that's still a feature to do but I'm just showing you that you can actually do it in the task form itself that's where it's for you can actually do it um, and if you create a resource so if I if I put John in here that resource as it would in a normal Gantt chart allocation of resources that will create a resource on your resource sheet I sort of advise people not to do this because you can end up adding loads of resources that are duplicate. You might have spelt John slightly different without the H, you know, and you end up having lots of things. So it's best, in my view, that you come into the resource sheet, create your resources here, and then allocate them either back on the Gantt chart or in the form. What you also get when you go into a form is this tab appearing, task form format, where you can click and get extra objects or items so you've got task form which I'm on then you've got details form so this is the stuff you've got at the moment so this is a fixed unit task it's not complete three days duration effort driven, effort driven is not ticked and it's not a manual task if we go into this one details form that gives you a little bit more information so you've got um, constraints on there and these options here current baseline option actual so you can display the information for that priority and etc etc still got uh, next and previous now that one is billy basic really there's nothing there just the form itself so i think this is probably the best one to have and then you've got other options where you can click on these buttons so you've got like schedule so that's changing the table and then you've got work which again changes the table to show your work information and then if i put that just click that one off put it back onto schedule predecessors and successors so that's showing you some different information telling you what the predecessor is and a successor then you've got resources and successors uh, and predecessors and then resources and successors so that's quite good information as well then you've got costs we can bring in the cost information notes so this is notes that you would maybe have in a task go onto this task prep phase one there is a presentation embedded into the notes and this one's called spec that's just a a link to that file and then you've got objects if there's any objects attached so these are all features that you can click on when you're in your tasks now normally if I go back to the Gantt chart to see this information I would have to double click into the task and then you've got the information across these tabs at the top resources, predecessors, resources, some of the advanced features such as constraints as soon as possible and task type was there and you had the um, WBS 
work, work based structure code calendar as well and then th there was the notes that you had there that's the same file that I showed you through the other view so if you're using a form go back into it through this way task form this is what you need to be clicking on so you get the details form so you've got as much information as possible and then as you go through that you can see it and if I click on notes back to that one the first one where you've got the note now you've also got a resource form so if I go back onto this one these are all tasks but on the resource tab if I go into that one you should have the resource form which is there and the same thing is going to apply here that's a resource you've got the resource form format option same sort of things you've got schedule work costs notes object for this resource you got that one different option less information this one's probably the one most people would want to be on and you can see the information from there now if you want to create your own form there's limitations to what you can create but it's actually classed as a view so if I click on to view and then go to other views and then more views you've got options in here of creating new and then I'm just going to leave it as a single view and then OK and then what you've got if I just call this um, Steve I'll probably have to put a number after it because I've got loads so you've got like um, there's a screen but I want it on it as a task form so that's where it's going to be based on and then the other, as soon as I do that look so when it's on Gantt chart you had all this sort of stuff different tables and things to look at but as soon as I put that onto task form or resource form that's grayed out but you do have this filter option so I can drop this down and maybe select one of these filters and it will only show me the filters on this particular form so let's let's go for that one in progress tasks and then show in the menu click OK so it's called Steve 3 apply that and then nothing's in progress on this particular file so it's not showing me anything but that's how you would create a different form and then if I go onto this list um, Gantt to tasks if you go to Gantt chart you've got Steve there look sitting with the rest of them that's why I put a three I could have got away with a two and then you go back to the normal one you've got that if you want to change it back to yours that you just created Steve you've still got this information here that you had before so there's quite a lot of um, tools and features that you can use with forms it's um, it's not just a case of um, having it as a, a view and then just looking at it you can actually work with it and manipulate data and see how things work and on the right click there you just got the same information as you got at the top so hopefully this this little video has been of use thank you for your time and i'll catch you in the next one